Uh, I want to talk about rigid realities. You see, staff, in the face of the problems that we all face in the workplace, staff can end up becoming malleable and flexible, but maybe in the wrong ways. You know, they start too early, they finish too late, they take on too much, they do stuff that's out of their area because it needs doing. How can we encourage staff not to be malleable in the wrong ways? I think it's about, again, recognising diversity in terms of our work preferences yeah. and our personality styles as well. So we talk about this amongst us, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I tend to be an on or off person, whereas Peter's 24 seven, the brain's yeah. going thinking. Uh, so for some people, uh, if they're enjoying what they do, then long hours is, is not a problem, you know, because they, that's what they throw themselves into. For other people, work where it is just a small part of their life. And so it has its place amongst other things that are important to them in their life as well. So I think respecting that diversity that everybody's different and again, knowing your people, figuring out what works for you. How do you monitor yourself and know when, all right, I've probably bitten off a bit more than I can chew here. What am I gonna do? How do I pull it back? Who do I need to speak to? Do I just chew faster for now? And <laughs> mental note, don't do that next time. Learn to say no. Um, Again, it's not one size fits all. Yeah. Okay, what can we do? What should we do if we become aware of a team member who is suffering? Talk to them. Yeah. Yeah, raise I, it with them. Ask, ask that question, are we okay? Not are you okay, but are we okay? Is, is, you you want to find out if, if, and you can tell them, have I done something that has upset you or or have I done something unknowingly, obviously, um, that has, you know, caused some problems for you? And in most cases, you will find out that the person will come back, no, 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 it's fine, it's got nothing to do with you. And it's, it's like a weight has lifted off them because they know that you're onto something. It's, and you can continue, you can say, look, the reason why I ask is because you normally are really chatty in meetings and, and you know, the last week I haven't heard you, you've been in the corner, very quiet. And we, I feel that we're missing out on your wisdom that you contribute to the team. So, so be very specific as to what you have seen or what you have heard directly from them. And, and what just, if it's not, I'm sorry, what, uh, what if it's not a broken relationship, but it's just an yeah. observation of yes. somebody's yeah. situation? How, yeah. Do you approach it with them? What if they're not receiving that? Um, yeah, look, they may not want to talk about it. Yeah. And so do you go fine. to the manager? Do you, uh, I always What's... think it's best to respect that person's privacy, you know, if they don't want to talk about it, that's fine. And they have every right to keep it to themselves. But more often than not, people will share a little bit of something. But even if they don't, just the fact that you've raised it, that you've asked, that you've shown that you notice them, that you care, that in itself can make a huge difference for the person. That could be the thing that spurs them to say, all right, I'm going to go and get some external help with this or it's enough to know that there are people around me who do care and I don't want to tell them all the nitty-gritty details of what's going on for me but at least I know they're there. Mm -hmm. This could be also a good time to tell them look and remind them what you find special about them because if a person is suffering I, I can guarantee a hundred percent of the time there's a very bad self-talk happening and somebody coming along and say, you know what, we appreciate you, the way that you bring, the warmth that you bring into the team or whatever it is and the expertise on this and that, be very specific on it, um, can be very healing for that person. It can, it can interrupt their, their pattern, their process in a very positive way. Mm.